I'm gonna fucking get you. I'm gonna get you. You guys gonna see Spider Man No Way Home on the December 17th? Absolutely. I would never miss a chance to see Doc Ock. Mm, it's true. And the Green Goblin. And not Toby Maguire, or he'll be there. Is he actually confirmed? Oh, isn't all he like of them, cameo? All are. Yeah. Okay. Andrew Garfield, Toby Maguire. There was speculation, but they confirmed it. They're actually showing up as Spider Man's. Them, not as Spider Man's, but I'm sure they'll uh, be in it. Well, I hope we get sexy emo Toby Maguire. We won't. But we're getting the Doc Ock in this one from the Spider Man Two. There's never been a man whose head looks more like a potato. Than who? The guy who plays Doc Ock. You think? I think you swing that axe at a lot of people. A lot of people have potato heads. Yeah. I'm not saying they they can't all be the most potato like. Yeah, it's true. It's like uh You're just not very discerning as a No, it's just like a honeymoon period in a relationship. You're like, she's the best, she's the most beautiful. It's just like new newness factor, you know. Potato of your eye at the moment. Doc Ock, I guess. The sud of your eye. Mm-hmm. Sud. Sud. I think it's spud. Spud? Sud? Spud. Oh, yeah, right. Spud. spud. The spud, spud of my... Where does, where does spud even come from? What mm. is that? It's where uh, the Russians called called their rockets Sputniks, but they were so shit and lumpy that we, we as like a derogatory term, called them spuds. And uh, so you get a lumpy potato and it's spud. Hmm. Fair enough. That was a ruse. I fooled you both. Hee hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> it was very believable when you explained the backstory of a slur. I can't wait till <laughs> someone, <clears throat> some person in the comments is going to give us an in-depth analysis of where spuds came from. Mm-hmm. And they're going to call you a fool, Tom. No, what I said is accurate. I read it in a book. What was it called? How to be a loser? <laughs> Those Hitachi ones these days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say that. I could please for myself. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> 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 she doesn't need a machine. <clears throat> we were going to make a game once called Spud. Remember that? You and... Oh, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say you and Lexi. <laughs> like, yeah, Lexi. Right after talking about the Hitachi, <laughs> we were going to make a game. <laughs> Who do you call smart? I hide under the blankets with my ass up, and then she tickles your your gooch with the Hitachi to get you (laughs) just like swaying onto it. (laughs) Then she gets one of those head scratchy things that's like metal prongs that split a tart, and you're just like. (laughs) She does that like on on my ass. No, no, no. the Hitachi is on your ass, okay. and then she gets the thing, and she's like, "My onto your head," and you just start oh, on my head, coming. Yeah, that actually sounds kind of nice. Yeah, <laughs> and that's called spudding. Yeah, and that's how to spud, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> Regardless, of where like what you might have to explain the metaphor to me. Like, how does this have anything to do with spudding? It just feels yeah. crazy. It does feel crazy. That's well, that's, that's just well, that's all it is. It's just a sensory. Overload. But it's but you, you, it is such a random <laughs> dart though. Like to pull, like it's just so you know like those, crazy. You know why those, you like, would pick that out of thin hit, air? Yeah. I mean, like, well, I'm just I'm trying to understand. The odds? Trying to understand the metaphor. It's just one of those it? things that make you feel whenever you it goes across your head. You're always just kind of like, oh, absolutely, yeah. But <laughs> where, where, why? He's does trying that, to ask why it's why does that spuds? get pulled into spudding? Well, knows. you see, the Russians <laughs> in the 70s and 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Hunter. Oh, well, actually, why, though? It makes me wonder. I, this, I just made things if, up, Don. Was, well, was this a recent sexual experience of yours? And you can, God, I fucking wish. Well, yeah. I mean, if I mean, someone would you, put a Hitachi on my taint and then well, and the put the head, head thing, thing on my head, I would yeah, come yeah. buckets for days. I haven't even thought about that thing existing. And I don't the know. Head scratcher? Long. Yeah, it's just such a weird. I'm just, all I'm saying is it's a weird thing to pull out of the ether. Just, why would you pick that? That's crazy. I mean, it's, you know. Who has ever experienced that? That's weird. But maybe you. I wish. It seems. I'm like telling it. you, if if yeah. if my wife one were, day were pulled out a Hitachi at, wand and a head scratchy. One, like longingly, you know, I wish she would. I know. wish she would. Okay, well. There's only so many. T- bleep that. There's only so many times <laughs> I can. There's only so many times I can say it. We went to the Ren Fair. What? 
I think I just rattled my own brain. I didn't feel right. <laughs> I didn't feel good. We all <laughs> walked around like a bunch of fucking idiots at the Ren Fair mm. and got some footage. We were there for like four hours. And uh, Tom, why don't you tell me about your experience at the Ren Fair? How'd you like it? I wouldn't have tried choose to to dress up as Rick Sanchez of my own volition mm. and go and be an absolute fucking twat. Right. But uh, you know, I did anyway. It was horrendous. It was horrific. Mm. I hated every second of it. But for the for the memes for the content, I hope we got. Will somewhere. that video be out bef- before? This comes out after. <clears throat> okay. That oh, video. Cool. So. so let us tell you about it because I'm sure you guys definitely watched the video. And you want the behind the scenes explanation? You know, let me give us a Kubrick breakdown of how we shot and did guerrilla shooting at this uh I like filmmaking. your your wife Allison was like oh we should get some footage I'm like oh yeah we should we we could we should just like sit down first and like figure out what we want to do and then we're like lining up cuz we saw a pickle and I got to the front and you know there's this like pretty fit chick there fit yeah like good looking yeah sexy sexy and I was just like I I'll just take a beer, please. Or like a mead. I had a bottle of mead. I was like, mm. turn to your wife. I was like, I'm going to drink this first. And then we're going to line up again. <laughs> and I'll do the bit. I couldn't stop myself from like apologizing to <clears throat> every time I would be like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for what's about to happen. That sounds like, what are you talking about? It sounds I'm funny, like, though. I need a pickle. Yeah. I need a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> that was another thing too in the video is uh, I really wanted... Tom to do a, just a Rick impression because it'd be but, so but, bad. But, but Rick's but his Rick impression is like always forty decibels higher than anyone else's regular speaking. Morty. So, so he's always kind of yelling at you. Morty. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> Morty. Hey, Morty. Wubba lubba dub dub. I'm impressed that you came to bottle me though. How many drinks does that work out to? You think if it was a like a, an actual wine bottle? It was a wine bottle of mead. Yeah. I fucking smashed it. How much? It. How much was that? I didn't even know they sold like a whole. My bottle. fucking! I got like a bottle of mead, and uh, like maybe a bottle of water for Allison or something. Mm. Right. Thirty nine dollars. Yeah, well, thirty nine dollars. It's a whole fucking bottle. They serve like five. I was surprised, dude. Out of it. You would not get away with that in England. Like having a glass bottle. Mm-hmm. Selling that to sign at a rent fair, you guys, people would fucking get glass. Like, you can't tsh- be trusted with glass. I was there. thinking if I did the Rick Sanchez shit at like a fair in England, someone would have beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> Why? Because it's just it's just like stay in line. <laughs> I wanted to say a hard air, hey, but yeah. teachers, leave <laughs> those kids alone. Yeah, exactly. They will surround me and sing dun, Pink Floyd dun, for no dun. reason. Holy Lord, I'm just uh, no the ball of me did the fair. That, yes. Mm. <laughs> but uh, just, I don't know, just the, like, people are much more, like, probably because we don't have guns, willing to to mm. beat you up in England, I feel. Because mm. be the other guy can't pull a gun on you. It's not going to happen. It's not, no, the worst you're going to get is, like, a shank. Yeah, so if you have glass, you definitely have a better weapon than whatever they have. It's just yeah. like, yeah, I, I just, I, mean, I could be wrong, but in my experience, like, going to fairs and shit in England, like, if you give people glass bottles and they get drunk, <laughs> they're going to be used as weapons. What fairs do you go to in England? I, when I was like a teenager and stuff, I'd go to the fair, try and get some pussy, you know? All the all the kids from school would go. It's like a little county carnival thing, you know? Right. The fun fair! <laughs> yeah, that's right. The fun fair! Let's I go, to, go the to the fun, fun fair, fair for some pussy. pussy. Dude, it was pretty <laughs> fucking wild, like, just teenagers drunk and Cotton stuff. Cotton candy, <laughs> <laughs> a bottle of Coke. Yeah, a Ferris a pers- wheel! A Ferris wheel. It's a pussy... Hold on, I'm gonna eat that girl's fucking little clam box right after I write. Dude, this I, I remember like a girl had her hands down my trousers and her hand down another dude's trousers, and she was like, "Well, you know." Don't give us a fucking wank. She was talking about like our cocks. Yeah, <laughs> it was kind of weird. Your cocks if you're pretty fucking wow. good. Wow! Wow! Oh, you're so big. You're I'm like, like, I know. Yeah, yeah I know. she's like, facing what? the other guy. Clearly, I'm like, you know, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I know you're Why like uncomfortable. <laughs> I said not talking to you there, short stack. <laughs> By short stack, you mean, mean a small cock. That's, that's not what you mean. <laughs> that's what she said. That can't be am what I, you am mean. I, am I in the vicinity of what she sound like? Absolutely. <laughs> really? <laughs> I hope. Wow, you're so big, Tom Hinchliff. <laughs> wow. And not the other guy. You're so tall, but yet your penis is so, so massive, small. Tom, and not the other guy. He's a bit of a small one, isn't he? a grower, you'll find. 
<laughs> She's like, it's not grown in me end. It's because you're ugly. Because <laughs> you're a whore and I'm not aroused by oh, you. Look, I got your combs all over my hand. I think that you're finished. That's an insult. <laughs> that was an insult. <laughs> I'm insulted. <laughs> Is it my me coming on Where's your Where's a bottle? <laughs> and then <laughs> smash over our heads. Bitch! That, then that's you cunt! And, and then that's just what, and 15 that's more minutes of merry-go-round with just the body. <laughs> <and> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to calm down. I'm One day I'm going to make a podcast with this very theme tone. <laughs> and I'm going to... <laughs> I'm, I need to relax and calm down and ride this cable around the couple laps and I'll be just fine. <laughs> A camel? Yeah, you know. You I'm in the fucking fairs. Saudi Arabia. We don't have camels at the fair in England. Oh, some, Are you talking about a merry-go-round? I'm in like a fair. No, no, I'm talking. No, about he's like talking some, about a real camel. Some, some, pe- some oh, fairs so, have oh, like just zoo, elephants like come in. That farm animals. What is yeah. this yeah, fucking yeah. Saudi Arabian nightmare it's that like you're a, describing? It's more to me. realistic than in America for England, I feel like. Yeah, for a camel. A camel ride. It's just one camel. It's like how we live in a. What do you mean? It's just one camel. Yeah. Who has camels? People. I, I guess I don't. You know people are spoiled. Mm. Land lease really mm. fucking gave you the jump start. You there's a camel. Camels. There's a camel and elephant at the run fair. I could see. It does seem like an alpaca would be something you'd see in England for some reason. That's yeah, like but a, that's you, like you, you, don't, you don't ride alpacas. You know, uh, no. Well, camels are huge. Yeah, I mean, if you're a little kid, you could ride an alpaca. Well, if you're a little kid, you can ride a lot of things. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this a, is this another billionaire yeah, thing? <laughs> <laughs> the billionaires get bored. It's so bored. Money, it bored. just stops you. <laughs> <laughs> they get so bored. Should, should do that. I feel bad for him. Should do that shirt too, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a billionaire and bored. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, on the, and on the back it says, "Watch your children." <laughs> <laughs> for context, for the new viewers who have come from this very popular <laughs> Ren Fair video, Hunter has a theory that when you're a billionaire or make roughly around what he's making no. you get very bored very easily and start mm. fucking children because it's like the last forbidden pleasure i'm sorry that it's just it's riddled with evidence <laughs> every billionaire i'm calling it right now i'm calling out everybody mark zuckerberg bezos everybody elon mm. your fucking little mimi friend elon he's raped kids he's dipped his toes in Absolutely. Yeah. No, he's hasn't even dipped it. No motherfucker's like not testing the waters. He has full on s- I feel, diving I feel cap like, and goggles. I feel like Zuckerberg literally probably just dipped his toes in though and then he, he noped out. You know? I feel maybe like not the not kids his, would be too weird out toes by him. His <laughs> yes! No, I, I, I will 100% say that uh, if, you're, if you see a billionaire, they have, uh, they have <clears> raped a child. And that's what, and that's a theory, and I'm sticking to it. Mm-hmm. I, I'd bring it up on every podcast if I could. I talk about it. Why do they get so bored? Because you know, it's a, qu- a question you can't answer. What would they do that was fun at that point? That they ask, haven't already done. Did you ask the TMG guys if they were bored yet? I didn't have the heart. <laughs> I'm talking billionaires. So where does someone like go around here if they get bored? <laughs> like where would you go for fun? I'm talking to the person at CVS. Like, what? Like, if you're, you know... I'm a billionaire and I'm bored. Hello? Are there any planes that I could ride to any particular places in the middle of the ocean? It's a joke to Epstein's Island. Like, mm. I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you look confused. No. Mm. Bemused. Just disappointed. <clears throat> Just wondering if I'm sitting across the table from a pedophile. No. Mm. Are you browsing things on the internet unprotected by NordVPN? You fool. You stupid, stupid fool. Silly, silly boy. Call them the bastards. 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 You could get NordVPN and protect your data. It's easy to use. Connect with one click or enable autocorrect. Connect. Connect. Or correct. Correct. Connect. Double VPN. For extra protection, users can route their traffic through two VPN servers. Two. Access from everywhere. Get your content no matter where you are on planet Earth. Even if you're in a cave. Even if you're in a cave in the Middle East and like to watch Naruto. Find discounts in other regions. You have 60 countries to choose from, which is a lot of discounts by my estimate. Go to nordvpn.com slash cream for a two-year plan, 73% off, and one month free. Me me and uh, Trevor were, were pontificating and wondering if, like, the Hobbit women in Lord of the Rings get viciously raped. By like bands of roving pedophiles from like Gondor. 
Well, it seems like nobody knows that the hobbits are there for now. There's, well, they, they do know? interact with men sometimes. Like, they go to a Brandy they, Buck ferry, and on yeah, the way, yeah, there's yeah. like, oh, hello, little folk, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But you've got to think, like, some just, man just folk see a ripe, yeah. easy target for the yeah, plucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, little folk. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. I like to think that in the movie at some point, in that bar scene, he's like, look at you, little man. <sighs> look at you. He's like, this is a pint. What, is that what he says? Is this is a pint. They, they, they come in pints. They come in pints. He's like, this is a pint. And a guy comes over and he like, puts his like dick in his face. Like, <laughs> his clothes, his clothes, like, it's like, his dick's still in his pants. He's just like, hey, what does that smell like, little man? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, stop it! Yeah, no fucking kidding. Pick him up because I saw this video on Reddit where it was like this little Indian man. It's like a like a very tiny. I think you saw this video with me. Mm-hmm. His windows rolled down and like everybody was like outside the car and they're like Argh! shaking his car and the guy's like ha ah, ah, and they fucking take him out of the car out of the window and they put him up and he's like ah! <laughs> and I'm like that's what. Would happen. <laughs> what happened in The Hobbit? In that deal, they would totally be like, yeah, what's he for you? Well, let me look at him. Oh. Like, ah! <laughs> like going on the crowd. Yeah. Just getting diddled left and right. <laughs> Aragorn sitting there, like just still smoking that pipe in the corner, just like. <laughs> <laughs> You're drawing too much attention to yourself. <laughs> Frodo's in the fucking nether realm. <laughs> Mary, and, Mary and Pippin are getting all their fucking clothes ripped off of them. Yeah, come <laughs> in, love. Look at all these prickies. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Sam's hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Holding his knees, rocking back and forth. Exactly. Where's this is the, the farthest fu- I've ever been. Where, from the, where, where, where the fuck is Gandalf? Gandalf. <laughs> oh, there's no Gandalf. Here. I was like, how Gandalf's like, yeah, meet me there. Yeah, meet, meet me in that tavern. Gandalf hasn't been here for six months. It's like we're so fucked. <laughs> Oh fuck. oh fuck! Oh fuck! Gandalf sent you. Oh shit, boys! We have another. One. <laughs> we got another fly. <laughs> it's like Pulp Fiction. The fucking the next day is there. They're just like a fucking like what is it? A skewer or whatever? Like a spit? Yeah, just like a spit hog with it just like going in his ass, and he's just roaring on a fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did we get up to last night? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Eric Horn's like, oh shit, <laughs> like, oh fuck. Like, It'd be so funny if during in, in the tavern, the fucking, it's this this whole debauchery's going down and the ring race, like, open the door and just fucking look in. <laughs> just close, <laughs> just like, close it again. <laughs> it a weird scream. They're just like, yeah. <laughs> they pull their head down, it's just like, a very, like, young looking face, it's just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that shit that scared me when I was a kid. The ring rice. Especially when they come in, they're just like yeah. whoosh, whoosh, to the scene. It's a good sound through the pillow. Just start yeah, pork sorting weird. them through the pillow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're all like. Oh, 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 we can go to bed. Oh, <laughs> just nine ring rice with their giant pork swords <laughs> <laughs> standing over the bed <laughs> with those such angles. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> the innkeeper is just like sleeping super peacefully. <laughs> No, he's he's behind. Yeah, we'll get you a room. Go on up there. You know the shot where he's He's hiding behind the bar, like as the ring race like go past him. (laughs) He's just fucking hiding. He's he's counting his money. (laughs) Fuck the pork swords come first. The big fucking blue dicks are (laughs) swinging in between their legs. (laughs) Or a kind of theme song playing in the background. (laughs) Dun 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 dun. Uh, what? But you don't see it happen. It's just like from his perspective the whole time. So it's off screen. Just here. What? Who? <laughs> what the heck? No! 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 Boy, I wonder if there are women versions of these. <laughs> and then they go and raid the fucking Shire. <laughs> dun, 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 Just dun. come over the hill. You see Rosie. She's yeah. like, what, what's that? <laughs> Sam's like, oh, can't wait to marry that girl. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Just gets fucking split in half. <laughs> Shire! <laughs> Bang <Maggie>! it! <laughs> Shire! Fuck puppets! <laughs> <laughs> Women the size of children! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! We've got to find this treasure! Da da da! Bum bum bum! 
I wonder what happens to all, uh, all of the fucking realms which, like uh, ally for which, a common yeah, cause. <laughs> versus versus Gondor versus Mordor, the Shire. Rohan. <laughs> they all fucking they're like <laughs> Dick in the hills, they live underground. <laughs> Excavating them out of the ground. Little prairie dogs like, fucking stick on their hands out of the ground, grabbing them out. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, ah, they've got those dogs like ferreting dogs. <laughs> Dragging them out of the dirt. The, 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 basically, the thing that they uh, that flashback they see, or like the if if the uh, the dark side wins, should the Shire? Oh, it shows all, like the all... sacking of the Shire. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that's actually just what happened. In that fl- in that Immediately, flashback. the ring is like Gandalf, forgotten about. Gandalf and like Saruman are like shaking hands, <laughs> and they're sitting there like slapping a Hobbit's ass as he walks by, and they're like. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be, it'd be, we're talking about it'd be funny that they'd use the same like excuse that Lolly fans use. Or like, I mean, I, she looks like a child, sure, but she's like sixty. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's totally fine. Mm-hmm. Just fucking raping these these poor nubile young hobbits. A natural resource. Then there's mm-hmm. a sad version, kind of like Gary Jules. Wait, that wasn't the sad version. <laughs> no, the song mm-hmm. and the, the the music. Oh, sitting, Misty Mountain. But he's sitting there, and it's kind of like Gary Jules when he did the sad version of Mad World for Donnie Darko. <laughs> he said, it's like, be, 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 be. <laughs> be, be, be. No, be the be Jam, jam, jam. What's the show? What's the show? <laughs> Showing a shot of like people's nails like folding up as like they're scratching the heart of the like, slow, slow motion of the flames and uh, yeah. <laughs> show some hobbit they're like on top of the hill like and, like blow some fucking you know pirate ship or whatever the fuck they're fighting. <laughs> And all of a sudden, they just get fucking clubbed in the side of the head. <laughs> Slow motion just go down. <laughs> and then just dragged. <laughs> <laughs> what would you even call that movie? That's that's not Lord of the Rings anymore. <laughs> the sacking of the Shire. Mm. <clears throat> the strange death of the Shire. Risky business. <laughs> Boromir's balls getting dragged across a hobbit's face. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine though that it's like it's all just like bullying, like it's like they're just like manhandling these fucking hobbits and they're doing like frat stuff. He's like, oh, we fucking teabag him. He's like, no. Ah! It's like big old fucking man balls, just like right on his head. He's just like, like the size of the head. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the hair like pokes his eye and he's like, ah, ah. <laughs> he's like, oh no, clip these balls. Yeah, poor hobbits. Probably to be fair though, like a man, man ball hair is like nothing compared to what a hobbit's got going on down there. Mm. They'd probably be unfa- <clears throat> They'd probably laugh at them, call them cocks. Yeah, they're fierce. Your balls are so, your balls are <laughs> so, so, so hairless, so smooth. like a baby. <laughs> they're just fucking. All the guys can't get hard. They're like, stop, stop mocking me, stop shaming me. Yeah, their feet are fucked too. Well, yeah, so they're not prosthetic. Yeah, yeah. Like well, that's definitely we're, we're finally getting to the key Greasy. ingredient that I was wanting to do is that what ends up happening is that they hog tie everybody, mm-hmm. but then they just put their feet like that and they just feet fucking the entire time because uh, that has to be a fetish in that universe. You'd have to try it for sure. Well, I don't know about it. you'd have to try. I just feel like it'd be a fetish. Mm-hmm. Saying if you if you're in that universe, there. if you're in that universe, you <laughs> caught up in the times, you know. Like, <laughs> it was a time. You're, you're just a boy. People get people were fucking. <laughs> fine. Can't judge people just, like by today's standards, <laughs> yeah, you know. You're, you're just a Gondor boy, and all the other Gondor boys are doing it. <laughs> I was a baker. I wanted to get mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like well, it's like the Nuremberg trials. Yeah. <laughs> so what? You did what? Uh. uh, uh Everyone else was doing it. Oh, yeah. I was just following orders. Yeah, they, they fished me out of Mordor, you know, where I, I was mean, I, I, You know, I was a farmer in Mordor. I have no context. <laughs> in this universe, would man and goblin be friend? Mm. Well, you think the goblins well, are being well, yeah. like, dragged out of their holes in Moria and Gangrate no, right, too? No, no, it's, no, no, it sounds like all all the corners of Middle Earth. Oh, know, not yeah. hobbits and goblins. It'd be goblins and men. Like, goblins yeah, and yeah I think they would all unite around this like rich, untapped resource. Yeah. Well, honestly, what if no, that's the bonding treaty between them? The bonding treaty. Yeah. We'll have all the hobbits we can, but as soon as the hobbits run dry, we war. <laughs> we, we, we I feel war. like realistically they would war over the Shire. Mm-hmm. The, the the delightful pussy of the Shire. Yeah, and bussy. 
It's, it's like it's like fucking you know it's Mad Max water wall. Yeah, yeah, it becomes like the oil wells. Yeah, you know? it's like yeah. we all need this. Have to have it. You uh, keep taking too many of them. We're just taking our fair share. Gondor needs the Hobbit boys. You know good and goddamn well, Goblin, that that, <laughs> that, that we've been splitting it 50-50 for centuries now. Yeah, well, that was then and this is now. Oh, this is fucking now. We got more people who need Hobbit boys. And plus, you dirty goddamn Goblin, <laughs> I heard you're breeding them. I'm like, what? I was like, mixed breeding them. It's like there's like a fucking pug Hobbit or whatever. It's what like, do you care? Whatever. Here you go. This is the goods. What we do with those is not up to you. They're just uh, the men breeding with the hobbits. So you just <laughs> yeah. get like five foot tall. I fell in love with mine. It's an animal! <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to breed with him! <laughs> what would the offspring look like? Just Elijah like. Wood. <laughs> no, he's already a hobbit. So you get like. Mm. I was talking about real life. Five foot, tall, five foot tall men with hairy feet. <clears throat> Probably just like golem, I guess. Yeah, they all just Golem like Gollum. Yeah, Italians. Golem <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Sicilians. The Sicilians. Extra Sicilian looking. They, they make Sicilians by fucking hobbits. He's <laughs> a great cook. I doubt it. <laughs> Brings out a pizza. Talking what pizza. is this? He did say that Middle Earth is before Europe. It's the Europe before. I don't think he said that. I think he did. I'm pretty sure he said it's like completely out of the context of history. Uh, no, well, well, obviously, but like myth is. <laughs> Jared Togan's like this. Th this happened. This France. is basically what happened hey, this, before Europe. This right? happened. You, you realize that, right? This is on Earth. No, it's it's just like the middle know, of it. Some would say it's just a mythology. So a mythology can be written as if it happened within the same you know planet that we're living on. Like mm -hmm. like you know the Norse gods have myth of like what the gods were doing before people were around i think it's like that i i don't think it is but oh. where will you go with this i can't remember you can you saw so no, you, you so tracked me by could you contradicting me now i've lost my train of thought <laughs> i don't Ever. think so <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's no that's where italians came from is the goblins raping the the <laughs> no, it's the men raping the hobbits, and then they make no, the perfectly we five foot tall men with hairy feet. About goblins, I was talking about goblins raping hobbits. Oh, well, that would make out. an entirely different type of person. <laughs> what kind of person would that make, Tom? Uh, Who would that know. make, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> and the hun Hungarians. Mm. Mm. The, the English. It would make the English. <clears throat> yeah. That'd be a beautiful love story. What are you going to do? Have your way with me? No, well. No. I'm not a big savage like all them others. Well, I want a big savage. How about that? <laughs> oh, you really do know how to put a twinkle in this goblin's eye. Oh. Don't do what I tell you to do. Now you're not a big savage to me. I gotta go. She's just, she's just shit testing him. <laughs> <laughs> Getting shit tested by a tiny hobbit woman. Why don't you just bludgeon over the head and have yours? It's not like that, okay? <laughs> I love her! She has thoughts and feelings. That's so not I, accurate. I think I like her. I would, I would definitely be the uh, Gondorian man. Like, they're just animals. I mean, <laughs> do what you like with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Rosie and her name is Rosie, right? Or Rosa? Rosie, yeah. Rosa. 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 See, <laughs> I clean your hobbit hall, senor. <laughs> Rosie. She's she's kind of a little sexy, huh? But I could see myself falling in love with Rosie. First time you described Rosie, you described her as a disgusting, uh, whatever the f Melissa McCarthy looking character. <laughs> she kept falling over and farting. It was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what my part well, yeah, well, I guess you've been part about Rosie. In the, year, the intervening years since this podcast started. You, you've come around to Rosie. De uh, well, you never know what hunter you're going to get on any given day. <laughs> Some <laughs> days he's all about <laughs> Rosie's hairy hobbit pussy. Other after days he's all like, this she's a pig. After all this talk, I can. I, you I, kind of, you've been I imagining can, the whole I, time, I, huh? I can have. I can picture. I can I mean, picture myself kind of falling in love with Rosie. I mean, your only competition will be Sam. So I think you probably got it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What really the hell? With him? <laughs> she, she is like he's the, six foot she's tall. Like, she's like Sam. She's the only <laughs> Sam. You're three foot tall. She's the only like young female. What's what I mean? It's like out of all of that. So yeah, Sam and every other. Because I think through young, this conversation of all these other hobbits getting plucked, it's like a bunch of old fucking men. Yeah, that something. would base her on the other. <laughs> Rosie somehow Ro hate Ro Rosie. Rosie is like the <laughs> only. She's Rosie's the only one. That's like I'm just a normal woman. <laughs> So yeah, I guess I'm like maybe gravitating towards her a little more now. <laughs> now, if there was a Melissa, if Melissa McCarthy, who would blend in perfectly with just hobbits in general, mm. it's us, the hobbits, and of course Melissa McCarthy. She's like, I'm 
one of them. <laughs> Whoa! And rolls down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> and then she saves the Shire because all of Middle Earth shows up and sees that. And, eh. yeah, They're but, like, oh, 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 these people are so oh, cultured. Wait, who is that? We can't rape them now. It ends up being like uh, Neo at the end of the third Matrix when it's like they make a deal where Neo gives himself to the robots and mm. they'll leave everybody else behind. And that's what they do. They're like, take Melissa and leave us be. And they're like, <laughs> no, oh, like, you have her. Yeah, for me. And like they like pick her up, and she's like, <laughs> oh, she, she's like a bagpipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gone. <laughs> you hear like all what's left of the hobbit? <laughs> you like see them all like walking off, whatever, and then uh, you just hear Melissa like, "Have you ever seen my movie, The Heat?" And everybody just starts shooting themselves in the head. They invent guns for the specific purpose of blowing their own brains out. <laughs> it's a pretty good movie. No! Does anyone even know who she is anymore? I feel like she's a... Melissa McCarthy's like still extremely... Dead, dead meme. Like a extremely we need to replace her with someone like the Zoomers would understand. Mm. So like Alinity is just rolling down a hill farting. Uh, who's there? Who? Who? Twitch streamer. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I feel like the only... Is old, a female... Uh, Streamer that I only know is like Amaranth. I know she's really Pokemon. or Pokemon. Isn't that Pokemon and Amaranth are rolling down the hill farting? No, these guys are like chasing after him. Oh, they're running after smelling. They're just rolling forever, and the whole army is like chasing after him. I want to purchase your socks. <laughs> Fart in your chair. <laughs> <laughs> Your pants. <gasps> I wonder if the uh, they're rolling uphill too. It's just that they're rolling forever. <laughs> they're forever chasing them. Do you think that? Do you think the dwarf women would get raped much? No. I, think, I feel like it's probably similar. I think dwarf women look a lot like dwarf men, with they have like the real big bulbous nose and thick eyebrows and stuff. All right, just no beards. All right. Mm -hmm. They got. They, they got. They got maybe, little maybe beards, they, don't they? They do. They do. Oh, in the thing, they have beards. <laughs> I feel like the moors mm -hmm. of the time would be so like. They're just ravenous. I feel like they'd probably rape dwarf women. Mm -hmm. Is it just because they're short? It's just because they're women, I think. <laughs> well, in this universe, it just sounds like everybody's getting raped. Then. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like... <laughs> Human women can defend themselves. They're too big. We need to find some dwarves. I feel like dwarf women, though, would be extremely strong. Yeah, it does, it does sound like that would be harder. Versus hobbits are just literal children. Plus, you have to get through, like, 17 <laughs> layers of, like, armor and mm. weather yeah, no, the and shit. Dwarf women you know? are wearing armor. They're, they're, I, the dwarves I, are slapping them about. Every, every in my mind, they're all like, wearing yeah, they're all excessive like, amount of clothing and armor. Yeah, no. buckled and zipped up. Why would the dwarves put right, women so you, in armor? That's so you, whenever you're watching the fucking hobbit, you're just picturing the dwarf women in bikinis being like... <laughs> Just, I'll see you when you get back. And their big uh, juicy asses like walking like a midget with, like, you know what I mean? Like the, the diaper butt. Have you ever yeah, seen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you seen uh, those porn videos where it's like a room <clears throat> and the women are like halfway through like a wall and there's a yeah. picture above them they're in always, their face? They're always Russian. That's, always that's, what I, that's what I think the dwarf women are. Like they've just <laughs> put them in the stone walls and there's a picture up, above the arse. They're up on the, an the, extremely the high pedestal so their weird baby legs get a dangling <laughs> and kicking. <laughs> <laughs> I want that one. And it's just like, can't play it's now. Like, it's like totally like not them. Like above like a midget. It's like a midget body with a big diaper ass. Like legs dangling down. It's like a picture of Megan Fox. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I think. I am weed. I think that would. Uh, I can't get it. I am weed. No. Megan Fox jokes. Just tickling her feet. We're sniffing her asshole through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Tickling her feet well, like Papa. sniffing her ass. That's what they sound like. It's Papa. Oh my god, you're beautiful, baby. You're such a contagiously beautiful. Their voice. fucking pussy hair is beard-like, it's all plaited and braided and everything. Yeah, yeah. Just nice. hangs down like a waterfall mm. between their baby. <laughs> They're kicking baby legs. Yeah, it looks like a 57-year-old's mm. beard, just like <laughs> scraggly and fucking like gray. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? I'm fucking 22. It's like, why is your pussy hair like this? Well, you know, dwarf. Because <laughs> I'm a dwarf! <laughs> I'm a <little> <laughs> yeah, let's fight after this. No. <laughs> That's what they would say. They'd be very aggressive.
You uh, you would fit just as you are as a dwarf in the Lord of the Rings universe. I feel like I'd fit as a good high-ranking officer at Gondor because I'm fat. <laughs> Go do my biddings. You're just Denethor. Is that the yeah yeah <laughs> Eat, f- sluggishly eating those oh, tomatoes eating, and yeah, shit cherry tomatoes yeah have my fucking sex hobbit next to me <laughs> oh the <laughs> <bottom. laughs> sing for me boy sing <laughs> in the eye of the we're gonna get it we're <laughs> gonna I'm gonna fucking get you. I'm gonna get you. Just running out of, out of the hole. That's how he falls over the edge. He's chasing the fucking hobbit. Go to Go to He jukes you at the right of the end. Yeah, yeah. he's like. That's <laughs> 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 the Heisman or whatever. <laughs> every every time those hobbits are around Gandalf, somehow they end up almost getting raped by a bunch of man folk. <laughs> Gandalf rides up in his white horse. Yeah. Gandalf, where were you? <laughs> oh, you, you, know, you guys are still alive. Uh, hmm. <laughs> hey, want to get on my horse? And they just fucking just ride somewhere else. <laughs> he like he like he, he like looks back at the guys and they're just like, and he's like, <laughs> get on the horse. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have you live with this tree guy for a while. You guys fucking <laughs> suck. <laughs> I was always so confused, like, why he left in there with him. Which, they uh, did. He didn't. Cause, it's because cause he, it's it, because it, he it, swore allegiance to him. He can't break the allegiance. Well, you swore I mean, you uh, said you're gonna, you yeah. have to now. Wait, they mm-hmm. swore allegiance to the tree guy? Yeah. They did? did they? No, not to the ants, to the, the Gondor. He's guy. talking about he's no, talking, talking about, about the ants. I'm talking about whenever They the, didn't leave the, who left who left. Because remember the, they, they show up and oh, like yeah, 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 that's right, find yeah. Gandalf in the woods and they're just like Yeah. Well that one that's you know? after the same shit happened with Mary and Pippin. Oh, so that's not the same air, time frame? No, is it yeah, no, I know, I know what you're saying though. Gandalf saw them with the ants and then he just leaves them like, the tree beard. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. rides off. They're like Gandalf! He's just like no, he said he thought that they were got orcs, and then he said, "I know who I'll ask the White Wizard." And they're like, "Oh no, you're going to show." Us yeah, the yeah, exactly. And then, and then after that, they're still with the tree. Birds, well, they get taken by the orcs, and then they go. No, through no, 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 no. I know. Them. After the after they go in Fangorn Forest or whatever, and they meet Treebeard, he thinks that they're orcs. And he's oh, like, I, sorry, man. And he's like, he says, "I know wizard. who I can ask like, the White Sauron. Wizard." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but then, then they have that like man, like hour man. or like ten hour long conversation. Well, that was after. So yeah, it's weird. Like, why didn't Gandalf? He's say, there. Yeah, and he's like, hey, have fun with this tree, and like wides off, and they're like, okay, you know what we should do? We should break the dam. And he's like, okay, and they just. <laughs> they break the fucking dam. And it's like, okay, that's it. Mm-hmm. I did like that one, though. I've always felt bad for that one tree that gets all the he's, fire. He's on fire. He's like, yeah. I love that one. But, they, the have, but they have the when spot he run, of him. He runs up and yeah, dips himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's fine after all mm-hmm. that. A bit charred. <clears throat> Good stuff. Apparently, uh, in the books, I never read the books, but Saruman, they don't kill Saruman. He lives. Yeah, and then, forever. and then, like, after the events of the books, he tries to, like, attack the Shire. <laughs> I'm getting mine. Oh, well, yeah. Exactly. I'm going to get mine now. Everybody else is doing it. Why can't I get mine? Well, canonically, he's the only one that actually figured out the untapped resource of pedophile fantasy. You know? I'm bored up here at my tower. <laughs> I've got basically a billion I've dollars. Got basically a billion. This is like a billion dollar structure. I'm bored. <laughs> <clears throat> I had the movies there. It's like very like, it's very uh, kind of thrown in there. It's just like, but what if Sauron? He's like, let him stay up there. Be this lonesome. He like rides off. It yeah, doesn't seem very thorough, does it? Mm. Oh, he's probably because you just. Oh, in the I, original I cut, yeah, you don't even see him die. They cut. That was in the extended thing. Oh, let him stew in his tower. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's harmless. He's not going to be raping any hobbits. Mm. <laughs> 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 it's the crown. I wish you would have gone just like seeing Gandalf like walk up there as the White Wizard with just his sword and shit. You just say Gandalf. He's like, Gah! just cuts off his head. <laughs> That'd be sweet. And he's just like. Like, wow, Gandalf, you're crazy. <laughs> Shit, sheaths his sword. He's just like, we have to leave. <laughs> Slowly pushes the blade just into his throat. And they're like, jeez, Gandalf, that was kind of dark. <laughs> you know, couldn't you just finish him off faster? The guy's like, ah, ah, kill me. 
Kill me! We need to take him to torture him. Grab his dick. His <laughs> balls. <laughs> Dad, I don't want to. I can't help. No! No! <laughs> he does that same thing that like elf bitch does in the forest, which is like, I could be a queen. <laughs> he does the same thing, but demanding people grab each other's dicks. Grab his dick. <laughs> like, oh god, okay. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it just slowly shrinks back. Oh, my uh, yeah. He's basically just, just that lay, girl at that lay, fun fair I went to. Lay, One lay hand on, down each trousers. Lays on. <laughs> I'm the most beautiful girl in just, all the land. Just lays on the floor and she's like, <laughs> just immediately falls asleep. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? <laughs> 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 oh, wakes back up. It would actually make more sense if he was crazy like that. Because it's like, how the fuck do you come back from death and like transform and not just be a like total- hundred thousand years mm. of being in hell fighting a Balrog? This re- they really, really barely explain that. Mm. He's like, I'm back, and they're like, okay. <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, that's cool, awesome. He's like, oh, I slammed into a ground and I killed him on top of this mountain. Yeah, I fell down a hole and landed on a mountain. And then we fought all the way up a mountain. We landed in that that <clears> lake. <throat> yeah, no, and I then, know. And then they're just like, oh, okay, that makes sense. He's like, but then we fought all the way up the side of a mountain and I killed him on top of the mountain. But I died too. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and then I went on a spaceship. I think something's wrong with Gandalf. <laughs> and there was a bright light. I was on this table and these gray men beat me up. <laughs> And I was alive! <laughs> like, jeez, okay. What are you talking about? There's no God, it's only science, and there's beings more powerful than us. Wobble lobble dub dub, Legolas! Legolas, wobble lobble dub dub! Wobble lobble, wobble lobble dub dub! It's my new catchphrase! A thousand years, why can't I? <laughs> Oh, jeez, Mr. Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> Aragorn shows up with, like, a pirate ship full of ghosts or whatever and just kills everybody. And he's like, why did I even come back to life? <laughs> you guys had a ghost army. You did everything. I did nothing. The only thing he really ever did was at uh, Two Towers, I guess. Ooh, down don't, the don't forget him shining a light in the eyes of the Nazgul in the third film. He did that, too. <laughs> he shined a lot of the light in the Urukai's eyes, gets his too. fucking cell phone out and just, like... <laughs> Torch shining them. Yeah, every, you really every, see a lot of wizard shit. Every I Uruk-hai, like that. That's good. Every Urukai has epilepsy, and he just has a strobe light that he throws out into the. They're all like, mm. like, oh my god, it's magic. He's like, it's science. Mm. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm Rick T three thousand, or whatever the fuck his number is, but uh. I'm Lord of the Ricks. Yeah, I mean, it'd be, it, it would be. Come uh, on, everyone for that. He's great. <laughs> <laughs> it would be it would be on the cheesy level, I think, if he did too much magic shit. No, I like, get that. Like I, in, I, I, in that one it, Harry Potter movie where you see yeah. Ga- or Gandalf or Dumbledore, Dumbledore on top of that like yeah. thing, and he has, has like the fire thing around it. I was yeah. like, this is fucking lame. Before Harry, this moment, Harry, this was rad. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Now it's gay. You know, I, that, 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 to be that, fair that to Harry my, Potter, that is my favorite scene in every any Harry Potter movie. I thought the oh. the time when he fights Voldemort in like the Ministry of Magic that was pretty. That was pretty sick. I like how you played also, the future in your head. Like the, you were like, if I say that's pretty sick, unironically, they will <laughs> laugh at me. <laughs> so just like pre corrected. In Harry Potter, yeah, those beams, when the beams come together and it's like lava dripping, I always thought that was mm-hmm. fucking stupid. It's like, Aah! and like it's nothing really. Back me up here, happens. Trevor. How do you feel about Harry Potter? I like it just fine. Yeah. What, what about the, the scene when he fights Voldemort in the ministry? Cool. Yeah, I thought it was cool. the part. He also likes Star Wars stuff. Get out. But I was going to say, the. Get in. In Harry Potter, whenever Gandalf sits there and he's like, "Oh, you have to drink this water out of this clam thing," it's like the funniest. That's like mm-hmm. the funniest scene. That montage it. is pretty good. He's like, yeah. ah, ah, no more, no, Harry, no. He's like, "I'm <laughs> sorry, you have to." <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> it's so good. I don't think I've seen this. Harry, stop it. Yeah, it's, it's half blood. They, they walk up to this oh, pool and he's like, that. I, "I have to drink this." Who has to drink it? I have to drink all Dumbledore of this. Dumbledore has to drink it. It's like this weird, like it's like water, water clam juice shit. Yeah, but at I the guess. bottom of this, at the bottom of this thing, is one of those. Uh, Harry, I have to eat and... Hermione's pussy. I must. <laughs> it's so crazy. What I need clam juice, Harry. Clam juice. What if Voldemort's Horcruxes is inside of Hermione's pussy? Can you help me out? <laughs> Can you give me her number? I have to check, Harry. I must. I don't know, Professor. 
Yeah. Listen here, you little <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> I am headmaster. <laughs> I will expel the shit out of you. <laughs> you want to graduate, don't you? <laughs> you want to be a varsity athlete, don't you, Harry? He's like, you want to stay on the team, right? Like, you're a horrible headmaster. Mm. Every year I've been here, I have almost died. Like it's been like horrible events. How have we not prepared after the first one? How do they not like be like, yeah, there's extreme screening. That's why he's Harry, never found his way in. That's but, why he wants to be a cop. He wants to be an aura, right? That's that's like Harry Potter cops. Yeah. It's who is Harry wants to be a cop? Why? Don't, I don't care. Yeah. He's trying. Is to, it like after it? Like no, the, the whole time he's trying to. Well, like, he says, "I want to be a cop." Yeah, I want to be an. No, aura. not like an NYPD yeah. officer. No, like, no. They're animals. Get out of here. <laughs> I want to be Derek. Sh- <laughs> I want to be like my hero. There's the uh, the wizard police that catch all the bad wizards. Yeah. They're called Aurors. What makes the wizards bad? <laughs> Cut all of this. I didn't say any of that. That wasn't me this time. There was something I saw too that like J or J.K. Rowling. She like wrote like a like a book after the fact where it's like Harry Potter's son and he's like a total cuck. <laughs> like nobody likes him and he's like under the shadow of his dad the whole time and he like goes to school but nothing happens so he's just like this like really dopey fucking loser and he's just like you suck dad you're never there he's like I'm your dad stop talking to me that way is this what wait, sh- that's an actual book and it got turned into a play I think she made I, I didn't know it was it wasn't ever actually a book it was just a play I oh think. it was just a play yeah, okay yeah. well it's a play and it's hilarious yeah. so like Harry hates his dad no Harry's son hates oh his sorry dad. yeah Harry's son hates his dad mm-hmm. and uh is, does he have his own little Weasley? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, like a friend? Yeah, like, well, I think, like I think a he's a fucking. Well, he he, he is. He's a half I, Weasley himself. I, she I think he's Ginny. a fucking loser oh, who doesn't yeah. have friends. He's related to the yeah. Weasley. He, uh, no he's, wonder he's, he's a like fucking... a he's a fucking nitwit loser who's like in Ravenclaw. <laughs> oh, Ooh. yeah. And they're like, oh, and it starts off with him being a kid, and then like I guess the play cuts to whenever he's like eighteen and getting ready to graduate. Oh, Albus is actually a Slytherin, so even worse. Well, that's kind of cooler, I guess. <laughs> He's a Nazi. <laughs> How does anybody, like, at that school, every person in the snake class, like, why would they be like, yeah, it's a good thing you're a Slytherin? Also, wasn't the Slytherin guy a dickhead, too? Yeah. Then, then they talk about, like, each... Balthazar. The, the, the Gryffindor guy, and then the Raven mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, yeah. And the Slytherin and the, the guy the was Nazi, just as big the, of a... The literal yeah. Nazi He was like guy. a fucking Nazi. That we hang out with. That can was have. he actually, like, canic- canically, he was, like... He was canonically, in, he, like, in Weimar, Germany. I think he was, like, a cop. Like, I think I know who's behind this. <laughs> Slytherin, please. I'm just saying. I use it. Look at this dirty, feast. dirty enjoy magic. The, enjoy the feast. <laughs> I can't enjoy this feast. <laughs> I hope you're not keeping your assets in Gringotts. <laughs> yeah, he's good. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> what is our time at? I feel like I've been in a fucking <clears throat> fever dream of just talking. I feel like I'm in a sauna. This whole time. Yeah. <laughs> fever dream. <laughs> Does it feel hot in here? Yeah. I'm burning up a little bit. I'm not feeling my head. I'm feeling like <clears throat> that's funny. Yeah, I never knew that. <laughs> what the the, the, bad, the Slytherin guy was? Are you saying he was actually like in the SS? I think that he he was not. No, it's no, but it's heavily like the 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 you know the ham fisted parallelogy. Yeah, yeah, for right. Nazis, like the uh, we, I the hate whole muggles, deal was that he all wanted all to. Shit. Yeah, he wanted to yeah, yeah. keep all the like wizard bloodlines pure. Right. Yeah. So like anybody who was a Muggle, obviously they didn't give a shit about because they're not wizards or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then the mud bloods, he was like, they need to be cast out from. They're not pure. They need to be cast out from Hogwarts or whatever. Mm-hmm. But the whole deal with Slytherins is that to be a Slytherin, it was just like not inherently evil. It just meant like you were more cunning, like because they're all like personality evil, based. Yeah, but then it's just like, what are you gonna? How are you gonna make someone be like a good guy and also just like <laughs> yes? <laughs> Like drinking <laughs> green potions with like skulls on them. Like he's this a cancer good- ward will be yeah. well funded. He's a, <laughs> he's a good guy. It is yeah. Plus fucking crab and goyle. They're slithering. It's, Did you know that they get one of it the? It is actors, universally. You, well, like, you need your brown shirts. Uh, yeah. oh, you, can't, you can't all be the slick back blonde haired <laughs> elite. Yeah, but it's very it's very clearly <laughs> always like it, we're, like yeah. We're just throwing the bullies over there. That's the bully class. Let's put them. Yeah. All together. Well, you know, there's yeah. there's all the theory that really uh, Harry's the monster if you like look at it through their perspective. There was also according yeah, was, to the lore of Harry Potter, there was also um, evil Gryffindors. 
Because they're evil Gryffindors. They're, because, like, to be a Gryffindor, it's, like, courageous. Mm. And not necessarily, like, heroic, but that's where it goes in the thing. But it's, it's just stupid because it's, like, very obviously you're just going to be like, I'm good guys and bad I'm the guys. good guy. I'm yeah, the you lion. guys are yeah, named my, after a snake. My mascot's a you're snake. You're a snake. Yeah. We're lions. You guys are snake-like people. <laughs> <laughs> One of the actors who played I, either Crab or Goyle after the Harry oh, Potter yeah, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, didn't he steal a car He was like a something? heroin addict and stabbed someone. Oh, or he was right. like a heroin dealer, I think, and stabbed someone in like central London. Mm-hmm. I do solemnly declare. What is the fucking thing that they say? The Marauder's Map. Yeah. Oh, I solemnly swear I'm up to And I am up to no good. Yeah. I solemnly swear I'm going to diddle someone. <laughs> That's also, also like a, just a super weird thing to like mm-hmm. lose. Yeah, my dad made this. this yeah, and then map. they're just like, I don't know where it went. It was like, yeah. That's super bad. Mm-hmm. Like, it's what a if, rad map. <laughs> what if instead of it going to like two Gryffindor good kids, mm-hmm. it went into the hands of like Filch and he was like, I'm going to. Sneak into Hermione's dorm and fuck her. While she sleeps. No one will know. Because I'm you. I'll avoid them all. Well, and just that three or four students could make this thing, you know? Yeah, it's like the, like, the level of like power distribution where it's and, like... And just security threats yeah. to this fucking <laughs> yeah. school. Neville can't make like a fucking feather float and other kids are like, I'm going to blow a hole for this wall. You're like, how are they all not learning together? Like, the same level of stuff. It's like real life, though. Yeah, I guess. It's Look, I fucking... made a map where you can tell when girls are alone. Or boys. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this, this map's not for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, get away from me, freak. <laughs> We're going to sneak into the girls' dorms. Well, that's wrong. Fuck you, Peter. Which, oh, Peter Pettigrew. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the little... You're a rat. The good guy that t- literally turns into a rat. Yeah, also the yeah. whole deal where it's like... He, that guy just got fucked. Of course he was going to turn. What has, out. like, Scabbers seen Ron do? Because I'm going to be honest, like, if my mm-hmm. cat's around, I'm not dressing for it. You know, I'm not like, mm-hmm. I'm going to put underwear on. Like, my cat's there, he's looking at my junk. Probably what the not, fuck is Scabbers yeah, seen? You're probably not kicking the rat out when you jerk off. Yeah. It's just- <laughs> Get out of here, Scabbers. Stop <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a fair point mm-hmm. that I made. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we were just discussing... Uh, the kind of things that scabbers the rat being a human in rat form must have seen Ron do. Mm. Go on, scabbers. Puts a fucking pipe up his own ass. Get in there. Mm. <laughs> Just like Lemmy Winks. Lemmy Winks. Lemmy Winks. I think it's probably even worse of just having that rat. I mean, like, that rat's in his cage looking at Ron, and Ron's like, first time he ever hocks a loogie in his hand and like beats his dick or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That like 100%. Like a- why does Scabbers always face the wall when I get my cock out? And bury his head in Why does he keep, s- keep <laughs> scratching at the glass and trying to get out whenever I'm... <laughs> Scabbers, stop it. Stop. If there's a blanket over it, you just hear... <laughs> <laughs> that was way better sounding than I thought it would be. That was be. good. That was yeah. good. How did he come by having the rat? Like... Just bad. He starts writing. off with it in the first movie, I think. Yeah, but why did why did Scabbers end up with the Weasley family? There's a reason. I can't remember the reason for it, but there's some reason where because it's Peter Pettigrew, he's trying mm-hmm. to get close to Harry Potter and Scabbers was like Yeah, but Trevor, he has the rap. Yeah, but he was, Harry. he was it doesn't make to, sense. He was given to one of the older brothers and then the older brother gave it to him. <laughs> Some shit like that. I want to clarify that like I don't know why we're talking about this in depth. I I don't care. I don't think either of us honestly give a fuck. <clears throat> we're not even those people that watch Harry Potter every year or anything like that. Do you watch Harry Potter every year? I certainly fucking don't. <laughs> but All this right. man here has to. Right, yeah, He's obliged by a, a the captive, laws of the old world. A captive to Harry Potter. No, what she's doing is she never read the book. So when she finishes the book, then I have to. I'm forced to watch. How long does it take someone to read a book? Well, she never has time to read. Aren't those made? Why for not? Twelve year olds. What the fuck is she doing? Some stuff. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should go beat her and tell her to read faster. That that would hang over my head. Mm-hmm. I would be in a constant state of restlessness and like my hair I'd, would fall I'd out. Grow, I'd grow resentful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you don't have anything going on all day. Like, if my wife did that... Can we just watch, watch read this fucking like, movie? I'm like, yeah. how about we just watch the fucking movie? Like, mm-hmm. this is made for 12-year-olds. As of the books. Yeah. Like, you should be able to breeze through them in, like, a day. <laughs> I just... I guess I'll wait to watch the movie. Even though I really want to see it. See I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if you actually, like, the Jaws thing, too, or if that was just... <clears> the Jaws to. thing. No, I, w- I wanted to go to that. You did? That sounded like a good time. How do I that was that? a good and, out for you. And I, I did you have could have escaped. Time. I did have a good time. It's hard to believe it. 
Why? Because well, I think that, I think that you think you had a good time, but I think your inner voice is screaming. It's like in Get Out. I feel like your mm. actual true self is floating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then there's the lens of you being like. So Don went to uh, with with his girlfriend. He went to jaws, see jaws on, the water. on the water, which is where you float in a little rubber ring. And I had a nice time kicking, splashing your feet whilst watching Jaws. And, I, I, and we discussed this, sir. And people I, in I scuba you, outfits come and tickle your feet during the film. I told you that. <laughs> 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 you, you, you spend your time trying to maintain this veneer of like a cynical person, but I don't think actually in my heart I'm a cynical person. I can sit, I can sit and enjoy something <coughs> like that. On every well, I, I, pr- I appreciate that you can. Yeah, I don't think you do. You're, you're mm-hmm. literally at this moment not appreciating that I can do that. I just think that you're in a get out situation. What's that, what's that about? In get out, this woman is like a psychologist, but she does this thing where she like puts you in this state to where you kind of lose control of yourself and you kind of become a puppet that they can like inhabit someone else's consciousness into your brain but you kind of exist in this realm but they depict it as like you're looking through your eyes and it looks like a window and Mm. you're just kind of just like floating in nothingness this is the movie where the white girl lures the black guy to the Mm. that's the the whole premise is that like the black people are in fashion so all these like white people come in and then they like uh inhabit these uh people's like black people's bodies or whatever. Right. For what? Mm. What do they gain for that? Like, just because it's like cool to be black in this. Yeah. Or like the guy that he, she brings in, he's like a really good photographer and the guy is blind and he's like, I want your eyes and stuff. And he has like a really like art. He just wants his eyes or whatever. But then, okay. also, but then also it's like, if they're old, it's like a younger body, et cetera, et cetera. So who's, who's Don in, whose body is Don in? I think Don is to, the black man who and is sitting getting tea. By Lexi? I think by maybe. I'm just trying to understand. Well, I just I, I think I, I look at you with these things as just a man and I think a person that's out there on jaws in the mm. water. I'm, For myself, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm possessed by my own limp wristed wet blanket self. You're in a lone wolf. You're in a yeah. lone wolf is um, no! I think you're just like your shrink like, like, you're, like, you're yelling out, it's muffled, but you're like you're like Whiskey with the boys. <laughs> Whiskey with the boys. But now you're floating around with a, with tubes on, <laughs> getting your feet tickled. Just, just the, the I'm having smile. such a good time watching Jaws. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just like crying, watching the movie, like laughing, like <laughs> <laughs> just tears pouring out of your eyes. facing. Had a good time. <laughs> That's also an odd movie to be like soy facing over. Jaws. Tom is constantly spending, spending time with your girlfriend. He's constantly is, is, is a soy adjacent <laughs> activity. Yeah. <It's>, Literally, <laughs> you're, you're next to so much estrogen. That's very soy, isn't it? That's got to that's got to rub off on you. Mm-hmm. There's no possible universe where like Heart, yeah. no way that Don I fuck my wife for a sheet like a Hasidic <laughs> Jew. I put soy in your coffee. How does that make you feel? I will Don? say legit, legitimately. That wasn't me. I did that, that was him. but that's just mm-hmm. because I said. It was like, do you have almond milk? So they're nowhere out of almond milk. He said, all we have is soy milk or coconut milk. And, and he's I, like, and hey, I, yeah, do the soy. I literally said to him, I said, see if I said, like you're upset about the see soy. See if he waits to say, mm, this is tastier than usual. And then I'll you go, did. gotcha. You're like, <laughs> I said that I was like, I feel like coconut would totally overpower the drink. So that's why I got the soy milk. Right. Because it's just natural to, I don't know, it's like mm. a very like not overpowering flavor. Literally you drank, you're like, do you guys like want to watch The Notebook? Is that weird? That did happen. That happened, I want right? you to know when that I'm right, not in this. Right? <laughs> He's dogpiling. I'm not, I'm not dogpiling. You got him soy. You were the one who initiated the ruse of all ruses. Over coconut milk? Mm. I would drink soy milk over coconut milk. I fucking hate coconut milk. Also, coconut water. You ever have coconut yeah, it's, water? It's horrific. It's disgusting. Everybody mm. in New York that I met l- <clears throat> drank coconut water, and it was fucking disgusting. It's, it's gross. You like I, it? Yeah, I actually like coconut water. You go for some coconut water? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is really good. This is delicious. 